Welcome back, friends. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Susan Clifton. I'm a South Florida mixed media artist, and I'm here to encourage you and anyone of any skill level to create more art. So today we're going to make some jelly prints with items that we find around the house. So I'm just going to create some texture with some things that I found. So let's get started. So I found some random things. It's recently Christmas here, so I found this in my Christmas decoration box, which I thought might be interesting. Um, of course, we had lots of bubble wrap during the holidays. And I also have this piece of cardboard. And I found this at the supermarket. And I think it'll make uh, interesting imprints. So, um, and I like that this is like a little dented here. And let's see, you can exaggerate that a little bit more. So anyway, we're gonna just do some random printing with just these things that I found around the house. I'm going to start by adding a layer of phthalo blue paint, and then we will put in some textures in that. We'll add a second layer with some yellow and some Pirelli red. So here I'm laying down some phthalo blue. I love this color. I love how it covers the jelly plate. It has a transparency to it, but it's a fairly dark color. So now I'm using some bubble wrap, just random. Here's that wonderful, I think it's like an octagon pattern. And more bubble wrap. And here, here's this, um, oops, fingerprints. <laughs> I'm trying to navigate how I can press this down without getting fingerprints. Piece of paper does the trick. Some more bubble wrap here and there. Overlapping is good. Now that my blue layer is dry, I'm laying down some yellow and some pearly orange, pearly red. It's a very pretty orange color. Before it dries, I'm going to pull here. I'm just using um, copy paper, slightly better quality. I guess it's like a laser jet paper, very white. And I'm loving it. So as you see that phthalo blue and its transparency, and then mixed with the yellow became very green, like a very rich green. And sort of brown on the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna do another. And this is uh, Alizarin Crimson. Again, a nice transparent dark color. Okay, we're going to make some marks with some cardboard.
I especially like the little pointed edges on these. That trivet was a real find. So I also found this mesh. I had like a, a bunch of rocks that it came in. It's, it probably is a little too fine, but interesting pattern. Okay, I kind of messed up this lower left-hand corner, so I'm going to try to repair it a little bit by stamping over with some paint. These things happen. So I added some paint to this bubble wrap, and I'm just dabbing it on. This is for collage paper, so you never know what that this can be used for in the future. If I was doing a composition, I would just scrap the whole thing. So this is a mask that I made in Cricut with the design that I created on Procreate. I'm going to lay some yellow over this carefully. I think this is Hansa yellow. That's what I use most of the time. I'm going to carefully lift it off from the edge. And after it's dry, I'm going to add a layer of white. This is titanium white. I think it's a little thick. I've been taking some paint off, wiping my brayer. I should be more careful about how much paint I put on the jelly plate. I think I'm going to try adding using different bottles because the bottle that the paint comes in sometimes. I can't control the amount of paint that squirts out. Okay, before that white paint dries, I'm going to pull another print. Sometimes you can feel the coolness as you're rubbing. You can test the corner a little bit. I am loving, loving, loving this one. Absolutely love it. This is going to make some great collage. Okay, let's try some color blocking. So it's a little paroli red, fancy yellow. And my favorite color is teal. I don't know if you've guessed that, but my favorite color is teal. And we're going to add that in a minute. Let's just do some color blocking. And here goes the teal. And I'm not going to blend too much. I'm just going to make this sort of abstract. We still have some paint left on the jelly which might add to some texture so why not? And I'm just kind of randomly making some abstract color blocking shapes. And let's pull a print. So of course I'm doing this while it's still wet. 
rubbing to get some good contact, get out all the bubbles. So this is layer one. So now I'm going to start layer two and I didn't clean my plate or anything. I'm just going to have a sloppy but even coat but I like the variation in color and now I'm going to press in some texture a little cardboard and now while it's still wet layer two let me just lay down that paper again. And I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So this was a lot of fun. I enjoy making collage papers. Um, I'm going to do a lot more of these in the future and then we're going to actually shoot some videos of me creating collage with these papers. So please subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when um, I make a new video. And I hope to see you again soon. So take care. Bye bye.